Alright, today I'm going to twist things up a bit. I'm going to be giving you guys two lores in one video. Y'all ready for this? Here we go! Once upon a time there was a young girl named Sarah, aka Miss Fortune. Her mom was famous for making guns and they lived peacefully in their own workshop on some island. Most of her mom's creations can be found in the collections of many wealthy nobles. However, there were some who wanted her guns for evil. That's where Gangplank comes along. Gangplank was an up and coming reaver of Bilgewater. He grew rich by attacking the trade routes on the Twelve Seas which gained him many enemies. For example, the Grand General of Noxus swore to see the pirate Gangplank dead as he stole the Leviathan, which was the pride of the Noxian fleet and Swain's personal warship. Gangplank took pride in all of his wanted posters and the increasing rewards for his head. This guy was crazy! Anyways, back to Sarah's Island. Gangplank asked Sarah's mom to make him a pair of pistols that were super duper strong. They made a deal and a year later Gangplank came back to take the finished pistols. Gangplank didn't want to pay for the guns though, he wanted to take them by force. The twin pistols Sarah's mom had made were masterpieces, so she was all like, nah dude, they're way too good for you. Gangplank got super pissed so he grabbed the pistols and shot her up. He was all like, if I can't have these pistols, then no one can. Ha 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 ha. So he smashed the pistols on the ground and set the place on fire. When Sarah woke up, the workshop was destroyed and her hair became red as it was stained by her own mom's blood. Yep, that's right, Miss Fortune's red hair is actually blood. She took the broken pieces of the pistols and became obsessed with vengeance. She rebuilt her mom's pistols and started to prepare for the day she would be ready to kill Gangplank himself. Sarah took a ship to Bilgewater and killed her first man just a few minutes from setting foot on the docks. He was some drunken pirate with a bounty on his head. Sarah dragged his body to the bounty board then began to tear off a few more warrants which she settled all in a week. She quickly earned a fearsome reputation and became known as Misfortune. Many years have passed and the tales of Misfortune had spread far and wide. She settled many bounties, drowned the master of the Silk Knife Corsairs in a barrel of her own rum, and dragged some insane guy known as the Doxy Ripper from a belly of a half-dismembered leviathan. Eventually the day had come where Misfortune would face Gangplank. Just killing him wasn't enough for her. She wanted to humiliate him in front of everyone as he watched all of the things he cared about burn to ash. She attacked Gangplank's ship as it docked into Bilgewater. Gangplank's ship exploded and became a flaming wreckage. The members of his crew were all killed. Everyone in Bilgewater watched as the self-proclaimed king of Bilgewater was overthrown. But here's the crazy part. Even though he suffered horrific injuries from the explosion, Gangplank survived. He had a bunch of fresh new scars and even got a new metal arm to replace his amputated limb. Now he's determined to rebuild his strength and to punish those who turned against him. The battle of Bilgewater has begun. And there we have it. That's how Misfortune and Gangplank became Misfortune and Gangplank. The end.